What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Cage, coming at you two times, and we have a feature presentation for y'all. In this edition of Hot Wheels Showcase, we're going to take a look at the Fast and the Furious Motor City Muscle Line. This is a Hot Wheels premium line, and this is the seventh one that they did. There were other ones that have been released, um, including the, I believe it was the, uh, there was one line that I, I got zero cars in, and then another line that I just passed up. And then another line that I've got zero cars in again. But this time, I got cars in this lineup that I'm going to show them to you right about now in fashionable order. And here we go. First things first, I'm going to show you vehicle number one out of five. My favorite of the bunch. The Ford F-150 SBT Lightning. Or... The 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Um, I got familiar with the Lightning since I played Ford Racing 2 on PlayStation 2. Quite interesting to say that this, this possibly is my favorite truck of all time. And if I were to actually get a license, I would actually get this truck and actually race it or drive along with it. Plus... It's essential as well. Look at the big cab that you would have to put all your stuff in. I don't know if Ford Lightnings ever came with a bed to stop the groceries from, from, from moving around if you were to put groceries in them. But I'm pretty sure they did. As this casting is very needed in these times right here. Because you don't really get that much Ford trucks that often. And if, it, and if we do, they're always new. And plus, not only that... This will be this casting will be appearing in the mainline series, so there will be a mainline version of this as well. So be on the lookout for that. But judging by this space coat N11, uh, looks like I believe it's gonna first appear here, and then it might just say the 99 Ford F 150 SVT Lightning, and then might not designate it as new for 2020 as it's already released. By the way, it also has the Racing Edge stuff on here because it is a Fast and the Furious vehicle, by the way. you got to have the Fast and the Furious decals on it. So there it is. There you have it. Vehicle number one out of five, the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Now for car number two out of five, something we've seen way often, way too many times, the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sports. Now, I am starting to collect a bunch of these for no reason. Because they pop up every single time. And plus this version has actually gotten a release as well in the basic line all the way back in 2015. And I think one in 2014 as well. So this casting has been around quite some time. But we haven't really gotten a premium one. And we, it's nice to get a premium one right here. With the headlights and the tail lights. Very detailed out here. Yep, very nice indeed. And there you have it, car number 2 out of 5, the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. Going to car number 3 out of 5, it is the 87 Buick Grand National GNX, or the 87 Buick Regal GNX. Now, I shown this in the whole video, and I was kind of pausing a little bit because the base of the Grand National with FT wheels looked messed up, so I corrected that. But still, I don't know how this is the same, or I don't know how this is different than the other. Now, I did fix it, obviously. So, if you see a broken base, it's because of the fact that I have to remove that part by hand. But it will still roll good, and I will still have it part of the collection. Because if I see another one of these, I'll just have to race and replace it again or something. But... Judging by that, I have to look really closely here to see what they did to it. Yeah, because the hood part, this is more detailed, or more defined. This one right here is less defined. Just not by the front of this thing. See the front of this here. Focus, please. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe it looks like, I don't know, but it looks like it just looks the same. Well, I can see it's double riveted. Or they're both double riveted, and that has a hinge, you can open up the hood, but still. Um, I don't know. They give it, they give it, I know they gave it more detail in a way. But if I were to see this in the main line, I would kind of confuse this with the other one. Well, I believe this one has a bigger spoiler than the other one, because this one has a very small spoiler, but I know Regals that have bigger spoilers than this. I don't know. If you have a Grand National and you just got this Regal GNX, let me know how this is different than the other. All right. There you have it. Card number three out of five. The ASM Buick Regal GN Buick Grand National, aka Buick Regal GNX. And I like the blackness that they give it. It's all black everything. Card number four out of five. 66 Chevy Nova. We don't really get Novas like this that often. That are so premium and detailed like this. But this is a good example. And look at that. They give it even more detail on the back of this too. Really, really, they did a very good job with this one. It's in a antifreeze like yellowish gold color. With these sweet, sweet rear rider tires on it. Look at the detail in it. Let's, let's, let's look at the background of this uh, card right here. Interesting. All heavy. By the way, all four of these have, all four of these have, or all five of these have a base coat of N11, if you're wondering. So, yeah, great to get this one in here. Not that much to talk about because there's not any, de barely any decals on it. Anyway, card number four out of five. Here it is, the 66 Chevy Nova. And Finalima. Car number 5 out of 5. It is the greatest car of all time. It's the 61 Impala. Oh, what the hell. Um, In my personal opinion, I think, the, I think the 59 and 64 Impalas are better than this one. But, this one holds some value as well too. And plus, if you play Driver 3... And if you drive around in Istanbul, you know this looks like the same thing that's driving in the driving game. Or the driver car is is really this, basically. So if you want to create recreate Istanbul, grab a bunch of these 61 Impalas in any version, excluding this one, and then paint them in different colors and have them on the track. Or have them on the road or whatnot. But this 61 Impala is really good. It's all right. It got that bubble-looking top onto it. Of course, you see the package has windows on it. This one doesn't. But you can kind of see what it will look like in real life. I don't know if I myself would be driving that. I'll be driving a 59 or 64 maybe. Not a 61. But it's your opinion. But I do like that they gave it... But I do like the triple tail lights that, 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 that it got. And plus, it really looks detailed on here. And on the front, too. Got the sweet ride tires. Sweet, sweet rear rider tires on it. 61 Impala on the base. And there you go. Car number 5 out of 5. 61 Impala. So, how'd you do? Did you have to go online to get them? Were you out in the stores during the midst of the pandemic and got them? With your mask on and whatnot. Or do you just grab the ones that you want? Like the Regal and the Lightning. Or do, or would you like, screw it, I'm going to get all five. Like I did right here. It's a great set of Fast and the Furious vehicles. Wish I could have got some other sets like the Tuner ones with that EG Civic in it. And then the other one with the Eclipse and the 240SX and the Jetta in it. But... I'm happy with these right now, and I can get those at a later date. But until then, oh, and by the way, Ruara's Challenge is coming up right soon. Like, I'm filming this on Monday, May 18th, even though this is going to be out on a Sunday. Uh, next week, when this goes out, will be the Ruara's Challenge. So you'll get to see these five 
Race on the Rim Riders Challenge. And I hope this wins. If it does not, then oh well. But it does have to compete with a GT racer that has been racing replaced. So, good luck. Anyway, that'll do it for today's Hot Wheels Showcase video where we took a look at the Fast and the Furious Motor City Muscle lineup. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, be sure you subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well. It's your boy Chris Cage and I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video.